Chess friends, we all use computer chess engine, to analysis our games and find best moves to improve our chess strategies. There is some super engines called Leela Zero, Komodo Dragon, Stockfish and you and my favorite Alpha Zero. This game is about Stockfish 15 vs Alpha Zero game. This game is very interesting because, first thing first, Alpha Zero have high elo points, because he have Stockfish and Leela Zero both engines UCI paper. Number 2, Stockfish have white pieces because, in computer games white have always an advantage. And, in this game I sacrificed my knight in the beginning of middle game to get some kind of advantages. Stockfish have white pieces against Alpha Zero's black pieces. And if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please like and subscribe the channel, so, you will never miss, Stockfish 15 vs Alpha Zero episodes from us. And it's your today's puzzle, this is 70 to 80 plus IQ puzzle. I give this puzzle to you to improve your chess skills, solve the puzzle and comment me the full answer. Let's go, I played knight f3. d5? d4. Black have many lines, you can play e6. c6 and knight f6. Knight f6 by alpha. c4. c6. Knight c3. a6. White have many lines. You can push your pawn. a4. Or e3, g3. I played e3. g5. c takes d5, or c takes b5 is not best job for white. So, I pushed my pawn. Because black's bishop and the knight can't move frequently. And I have big center. Big center means more activity of my pieces. So, alpha zero played knight bd7. Queen b3. Rook b8. e4. b4, targeting the knight, where you will put your knight. And black is threatening the pawn. In this position, I sacrificed my knight. Knight takes d5. c takes d5. E takes d5. I create a pawn box. Bishop f4 targeting in the rook. Bishop here, rook c1. And d6, c6 is my future plan. So g6 by alpha. Bishop c4. Bishop g7. Bishop f4. Rook a8. Castle. Castle. d6. You can't take the pawn. Let me show the variation, then by sop takes d6, targeting the rook. Rook e8. Knight g5. It's plus 6 advantages for white. Black will face so many troubles. Back to the position we have e6. Queen takes b4. a5. Queen b3. I want bishop b3. Rook here supporting the pawn behind from it. So knight b8, protecting that square. Knight e5. Bishop a6. Bishop g5. Queen c8, queen c8 is not bad, according to me best move was bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. Rook fd1. Rook a7. Rook a c1. Bishop, takes c4. Knight takes c4. a4. Queen f3. Knight fd7. Knight b6. You can't take the knight, because of this, the queen and the rook will be in danger in the same time. So queen a6 by alpha. Bishop e7. Knight takes b6. c takes b6. Queen takes pawn doesn't create any big advantages because of this and I have a passed pawn. So, he played rook d7. Bishop, takes f8. Bishop, takes f8. d5? You can't take the pawn with your rook. Let me show the variation, if rook takes d6 happen. Then d takes e6. After rook takes d1. I am threatening to play this. 
so f5. Therefore I will play these moves, game will be over for alpha 0. Back to the position, we have e takes d5. Rook takes d5. Queen takes b6. Queen a3. Rook d8. Queen takes a4. Queen takes b2. Rook c d1. Knight d7. Queen a5. Knight b6. Rook 5 d2. Rook takes d6. Rook takes d6. Bishop takes d6. Queen d2. Queen takes d2. Rook takes d2. Chess friends, I am putting a brain power improving piano background music, because it's end game. Wish you all the best. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care. See you in my next video.